Well, we were so excited about this bill, which would automatically register a certain group of voters that have already had their citizenship checked as part of another process um, to apply for programs. And the reason we were so excited about it is because I worked very hard for many months to try to get the right policy crafted. I spoke with the Secretary of State's office and we actually invited them to do this bill as agency request legislation with me as the prime sponsor, so it was bipartisan. We got several bipartisan signatures on the bill, including the chair of the Government Operations Committee. Things were looking really good until it got to committee and unfortunately um, it, was, it received insufficient signatures. The chair did sign the bill to start with, to pass it through and allow it to go through committee with a due pass recommendation, but um, at the last minute she decided that uh, she couldn't sign the bill and so she took her signature off. And so that bill has died in the Senate. The good news is that it's still moving through the House and we hope it gets sent over here with bipartisan support from the House. Um, but I will tell you that I think that you know, the issue of registering voters, I mean, there's a lot of pieces to making sure that we have a vibrant democracy, but one of them is making sure that as many people are registered to vote as possible. We also need to make sure we're getting the information to them that they need so that they can make right choices and then that they actually vote. But the first piece is let's get them all registered and let's really make sure they're in our democracy and getting the information that they need to get. Very, very disappointing that this wouldn't be top of the Republican list of priorities, frankly. Um, we do have the Republican Secretary of State on board. Former uh, Secretary Ralph Monroe also testified at the panel. It was the epitome of what a bipartisan bill and a bipartisan panel looks like. So it's particularly disappointing to see that it hasn't moved on. If we do not have, in the end, a democracy that really engages and um, reaches out to as many people as possible, we will not have a representative government. And when you don't have a representative government, what happens is people start to lose faith that government reps represents them because it isn't representing them. And part of that is that people aren't, aren't voting. So these things are all very tied together. And there becomes a cynicism about government that I think is hugely problematic for democratic values and for a true functioning democracy. And I think part of what we saw on Friday um, on the state Senate floor as Republicans decided to fire the Secretary of Transportation with no process is that you have a, a system that is going to continue to make people feel cynical about what government is supposed to do. Because government is supposed to represent the voice of the people. It's supposed to be a process that people can engage in. It's supposed to have people at the helm that are being grown-ups about the decisions that they're making and not just playing uh, partisan politics. And I do worry that the attacks on government workers, whether it's you know the Secretary of Transportation or public sector workers and benefits for public sectors, salary scales for teachers, is part of what is driving the deep shortage that we have on so many levels. We've got a shortage of teachers, we've got a shortage of state troopers. We're not respecting our employees enough, we're not recognizing how much government does for the people. So my automatic voter registration bill is one piece of it. I think the other piece of it is how do we really build government so that it responds to people and people stop seeing it as just a political, partisan, um, cynical uh, venue for people to advance their own interests and start to recognize that government has this deep and fundamental role in providing for the common good. That has always been the sort of the most beautiful thing about democracy and I think it's what you know former Republican and Democratic presidents have spoken about, it's what the Founding Fathers spoke about, um, but now we have to make sure that we're holding to that reality. I always work on the toughest issues. I worked on immigration reform for 15 years and we still don't have immigration reform. I would say that we don't get into these situations in a short period of time and we don't get out of them in a short period of time. The worst thing that could happen is for people to disengage and to lose hope. The best thing that can happen is to see these opportunities, even the bad ones, as organizing opportunities. I'm an organizer, I come from the community, and I believe that the way that you change politics is you create space for politics to change. And so that is what I would say to people, don't give up. You know, just because we don't get something passed, we need fighters in here and outside. I'm gonna fight for people's voices here in the Senate, 
I need people to continue to fight for people's voices out in the public and to make sure that we recognize that if these things were easy, they would be done. They're not easy and they're going to take time, but I absolutely believe that we can, we can make a difference or I wouldn't be here and I don't think people um, out there uh, would elect me to be here if they didn't think they could make a difference. So it really is a partnership. Let's keep going with the partnership. Let's keep fighting for the things we believe in. Let's keep making sure that government represents the people. Well, we're going to start our direct talk um, segment again, which we did last year. And so that means you can tweet questions at me. You can email our office with questions. You can call. Um, if you have a question, ask it. And I will pick a couple of questions to answer in video updates. And I'd love to answer yours. So please be in touch with me. And please make sure that you are sending the things that you are most concerned about, because we want to respond. <laughs>